Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome back to your channel. What I'm going to be doing is we got one more of these 100 watt panels from Signature Solar it's called Grape Solar 100 watts, 12 volt panels. Well, it's technically it's 18 volt panel. It's for 12 volt applications. Okay, I'm going to try to mount this thing on top of this greenhouse to run these fans with because we still haven't got a you know a solar panel hook these fans. I'm going to try to get that done today, and if I can, it'll work out good. I got. I'm gonna put another one of these lights on here, these little dummy lights that I use. Uh, it'll mount there. And whenever I turn the switch on for the solar to hit those fans, this will come on and let me know that we have solar going to those, basically going to those fans, okay? Anyway, here's the here's the panel. Uh, let me pull it out and make sure there ain't no damage on it or nothing shipping damage or anything. Yeah, it's got a little bit right here. A little bit of damage right same there. Same place as the other one. Same, exact same place as the other one. I bet that's where they put one of them straps on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But other than that, I mean, it's not broke or crack or anything like that. So it's still perfectly fine. Just a little bit of a ding in it, ding in it right there. Anyway, it also has the MC4 connectors on it. standard MC4 connector so what I'll do is I'll mount it up there run them down I'll make a couple like little jumpers with MC4 connectors on to run down into my switch and then that's basically it for this and then we'll test it make sure it works and everything and uh, kind of the same way we done the the little uh, battery charging station over there that we done and I'll leave I'll leave a link to that video here too if anyone wants to check it out we I build a uh, kind of a standalone 12 volt solar charging station for our batteries up here at the barn just in case uh, maybe one day I want to add like a small inverter to it or something like that but anyway I'll leave a link to that video here also I'm going to cut two more pieces of this unit strip 32 inches long I do recommend glasses. Unistrut, I mount it the same way. The roofing, sheet metal screws, big fender washer. Right directly on top of this. I didn't tighten it so tight that it squished my plastic. But it's definitely on there really good. I mean, it's not going anywhere. The way I'm mounting this is the same way that I've done the other one over there on that other video. But uh, basically just a little thing that goes in that unistrut and you turn them and they lock into place. It's threaded, quarter inch bolt, two inch long with a fender washer. You basically put your solar panel in here like that and I'll just pinch it down. It's like that's all it does, pinch it down. Okay. All right guys, like I was saying, I was just washing a bolt each side. I do need the kind that cap over like that for the corners, but I don't have any and these work perfectly fine. That's how all those are done and I've never had a minutes problem out of those. Even the new one down there. I'm just putting the MC4 connectors on. We're gonna put this one on. If you guys, I mean, if you don't know how to put MC4 connectors on, I really don't wanna go over that a whole lot in this video, but I mean, there's millions of videos out there that you can watch to learn how to put MC4 connectors on. Basically got you positive and negative that's come off the solar panels. All this is a jumper wire. To run from your solar panel to wherever you're going to run it to. Okay. And lock it right there. They got the little metal ends in them right here. You can order these things by the off of Amazon. I can, I'll leave a link down in the description where you can order like you know like 10 packs, 20 packs, 50 packs of these things right here. And they're good to have. I've probably got a couple hundred of them put up. And I mean, when you live on solar, you want to keep a bunch of these. Or if you do anything with solar, you want to keep a bunch of them, you know, in your stash. Because you never know when you're going to need them. Just like right here. I would have had to cut that wire on that brand new solar panel, and I really don't want to do that. Basically, just poke your wire up in it like that. Like that. These right here 
are really good, but they're also real tricky to figure out how to use. So, well, it was for me. You stick it in there and make sure both pieces of that's in that lid and that thing there. And then you basically just ratchet it like that. It puts a perfect crimp on it every time. If you remember to basically how to use it. it it's tricky. We'll put it that way. At first, if you ain't never used one before, it's kind of like, I don't know how do I use that. But anyway, same deal. You just take this apart. Here's the nut. You put it on there. And right here's the, the weather, the watertight seal that goes on it. You put that on there. And then you put this on there. And you'll feel it click. Just like that. You'll well, take it back. I heard it click that time. I heard it, it click. click. Yeah. And then you just push that watertight seal right back in the bottom of it right there like that. And then put your nut on it. It's like a compression fit and then you tighten it up and it squishes it where no water can get in there to your fitting. Supposedly. You just tighten it up as tight as you can get it. You get these little tools, these wrenches like this that come with some of you, some of you fitting and stuff. They're pretty good to have to tighten them up. And that's basically what you got right there. Now I can hook this to my solar panel and run it any longer than I got a wiring run it anywhere I want to run it. Let me go down just a little bit right around. Right there. Okay, one, two. I should have one more right here. Three. I'll put it down here probably. And give me just a minute and I'll explain why I'm doing this. Let me get this on here and I'll show you. Okay. Right there. What I'm doing right now, this will go in here. What I have is I have my light that I want to use whenever there's power coming from the solar panels to the fan. I want this to come on like it done over there. You can check out that video if you want. This will go in here like that. Whenever, okay. This one right here will be a standard light off and on switch, light switch right here. That turns the solar off and on. Okay, but right here, in this last one, what I want to do is <clears throat> what I have here is a speed control. This is a speed control from big box store. It'll go in here, of course. That way I can adjust the fan speed how I want it. If it's getting, because them things are going to turn some iron here. I mean, they're they're way overkill for this little greenhouse. So basically, I want to be able to turn them like halfway down, or you know, I just want to adjust the fan speed on them. So that's what this is for. And this will go up to the <clears throat> to the fans, of course. And uh, it also has a light on it too. I mean, turned off and turned off and on this way. But also, I want that switch in there, where I know there's no solar going from here up. You know what I mean? In case I have to work on it or something. So that's the plan with this. So I'm gonna have a light switch, the green light that tells me that we got juice, and then I want this right here. Basically the same thing, but it's just redundant, and for a speed control for the two fans. What I'm doing? The top one is going to be for the speed control for the goes to the fans. And probably the middle one, I'll probably put the the pipe, you know, the uh, solar line into from the solar panel to get, turn it off and on. So what I need to do is I'll hook that together up there. Then I'll just run it down with this crap here and right into there and poke it out. I'm not going to hook it up up there yet because they, they will light you up. I'm leaving a loop in it because you never know if it's going to get jerked or whatever. But what I'll do is I'll put a couple zip ties in it. You know, this wire here is still hanging here, it's still for that light. There's a little teeny solar panel right here to charge that light. 
I can't find the piece that you looked at to mount it. I was going to mount it like right here somewhere, but I can't find the piece for it. So I'll probably find some kind of little uh, like game camera solar panel or something, or just figure out a way to mount this basically. Because I mean, it works. Just had to figure out a way to mount it. Now I've got my solar run here. What I need to do is shave her back. piece of red tape on that so I remember which one's which. Okay. <clears throat> Got some power coming in. Alright, what I'm going to do is this thing right here, I don't think it's, I'll figure, out, I'll figure it out, but right now I don't think it's, it's kind of, it's not working with these fans for some reason, I don't know why, but it may just be the voltage, it's got to see a amount of, certain amount of voltage, but I'll figure it out or I'll use it in the house somewhere. I'm basically just moving everything up in one box. I mean, eventually I'll figure out a way to put a speed control in there. Anyway, gotta put this cover here on, and then that'll be we'll be done. It's working. The fan's working. Yeah, I can hear them. We've been putting this off for a while because we didn't have the panels. We finally got the panels in. Signature Solar uh, sent them to us. We appreciate that, and I'm definitely going to use them. But as you can see, they're working. And they turn off with the switch. So, that's all we're shooting for. Okay guys, here's what we got out of our garden today. This one kind of got stuck in the wire. But, here's our cucumbers. Then we got some peppers. And then we got some tomatoes. So that's off of our vines today. Alrighty guys, we got the we got the solar panel up. We got the fans working, they're on now. Uh, it's just real bad cloudy, so they're not gonna spin like they should. Alright, and then we got the switch working the light. All that stuff's working good. 
So anyway, guys, if you haven't done so yet, please hit that like and subscribe button, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Like and subscribe. There you go. Good job. Thank you.